Yeah, hi, this is Pax Mele. I have a question. John, you are uh, famous, or, or infamous, I should say, uh, for bringing uh, quite a few French clones into the United States. I was wondering how you feel they are um, living up to your expectations, and if you feel they're superior to the clones that were here in the States, and why. Uh, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Clones, um, I was, this is like, goes back, gosh, 25 years. I'm in France and I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the best clones of Cab and Merlot and all this kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm driving around the Medoc, where we went to a few of the, like Margot and mm -hmm. this, and the best description of a clone is if you get your, first of all, you gotta have great toe walk. I mean, you have gotta have the best piece of ground or whatever your ground is. Right, because you can go out there and find all these great vines, yeah. but if you're gonna put them in shit, you're gonna get shit. You will get shit. If you got shit, you're gonna get shit. All right, so let's assume that you've got good shit. You've got good shit. You got good shit. You got good you shit. Know, it's Maui Wowie or it's whatever it is. <laughs> And you got some good shit. All right. So now you start with your rootstock choice. It's pretty damn important. And probably one of your most important decisions, rootstock. Yeah. You're going you're yeah. gonna, to you're gonna pick your rootstock primarily. Based, hopefully, you're going to try to pick rootstocks that really work with your particular piece of ground. Okay. Your tail wall. There you go. Okay. It's a good way of putting um, it. The French, the Germans, the Italians have, God, for... Well, they started working on it in the 1870s, 80s. They pretty much solved the problem by 1900. And they figured out the rootstocks that work in a lot of different kinds of ground, okay? So we're, we're, we're actually in heaven here in Napa because our, our soils, our pH and all the chemistry about our soils are really pretty easy for any international rootstock to work here. Okay. We don't have the real problems like they got in Europe. Okay. So, the first thing you want to do if you're going to start a, a vineyard and you want to make Petrus if you're Merlot or you want to make Latour or Lafitte if you're Cab or if you want to, you know, if you want to make a Syrah and you want to be La Chapelle, mm. you got to have a pretty fucking, you have to have a really nice, good piece of ground. You can okay. say fuck. All right. Good. <laughs> That's going to happen. That I'm helps me. That does. I'm sure. That helps me. Okay. So you start with your rootstock of choice. Try to figure out the vigor of your site. Okay. Because you, you need to know how vigorous your soil is. So you do backhoe pits and all this kind of stuff. And you try to guess, and it's, and it's totally a guess. So you want to match a rootstock for your site. All right. That means also matching the spacing, because uh, different rootstocks have different vigor, so you gotta get your spacing down. So you wanna make sure you're not planting it too wide if it's a low vigor, or too narrow if it's a high vigor. That's okay. Right. Okay. You get through all this kind of thing, and your trellising's important too. I mean, uh, I mean... These are all really good things when you're setting up a vineyard, and you're having to utilize different steps in the viticultural aspect of growing good grapes. Anybody who's plenty of vineyard needs to take it. These are, what I'm talking about is just what you have to do. Have to do. You have to do. Have to do. Particularly if you want to make good wine. Good wine. All right. Now he, all he, the, all right. So I'm, I'm leading up to his answering his question. I'm sorry. But I had to kind of get this kind of, of stuff course, out of course. Of, the of way. course. Because clones are the cherry on the top of the banana split. So you got you to get be, everything fucking. You get everything right. <laughs> you, get, you, get, you, you, know, you got the right banana, you got the right ice cream, you've got the whole thing spread, everything's beautiful. And that cherry that makes it a superb banana split is the clone. Is the clone. So when Pax is asking about, so he was, he's been so focused on Syrah, I can just say that the, the Syrah clones that we brought in with the On Top program are really good clones. There, there, there's no better clones in the world. I mean, you could we could try some Australian selections of clones and stuff like that, but a clone now comes from one single mother vine, so it's not a selection. So you okay. come from one vine that somebody has selected, whether in Australia or the Rhone or wherever. 
The ones we brought in are, are really good. Okay. If you can't make wine packs out of these, <laughs> I mean, you can't make packs. He's talking to you. Good, 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 good wine out of these. Um, I don't think clones are going to help you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. If, you, if you're relying on the clone. Yeah, don't, don't rely on the clone. Uh, we, we brought in good, good stuff that if you've got the right soil, the right rootstock, the right trellising, the right spacing, the right cropping levels. Oh my God, with Syrah, the right cropping levels. You get that all right, then my clone that I brought in, that'll help you out.